Truth How Your Bones Change with Exercise Many of the advantages of exercise are well known, including enhancing muscular strength and endurance, lowering the risk of heart disease and stroke, and preventing obesity. The significance of routine physical activity in developing and maintaining healthy bones may not be as well known. Bone loss is a result of inactivity. Osteoporosis is a disorder in which bones gradually become increasingly weak and brittle due to aging, as well as certain illnesses and treatments. Both older men and women experience it frequently after menopause. People with this disease are more likely to break bones, which can severely limit mobility and independence. Sarcopenia, a disorder that affects aging, is also a tendency for us to lose muscle. A person is deemed frail if they acquire osteoporosis or sarcopenia because they are more likely to fall and shatter a bone. Exercise strengthens bones in a similar way to how it strengthens muscles. Exercise is crucial for preserving bone strength as we age as well as for developing strong bones when we are younger. Bone is a living tissue, thus as forces are applied to it, it changes over time. Regular activity causes your bone to adjust by growing more bone and hardening. Good diet is necessary for improving bones, especially getting enough calcium and vitamin D. Exercise also enhances balance and coordination, which is a bonus. As we age, this becomes more crucial because it lowers our risk of falling and suffering a fractured bone as a result. Exercises that build bone strength. There are numerous forms of exercise, and they all have positive effects on health. Weight-bearing exercise and strength training exercise are the two forms that work best for strengthening bones. Site-specific exercises are necessary to increase bone strength. For instance, Walking can increase bone strength in the wrist, but not in the legs or spine. Stretching and strengthening your posture will help stop or lessen the degree of upper spine drooping that is common in older persons. In persons with a high risk of spine fracture, bending over to tie your shoes or sweep and mop can cause fractures. Try to keep a straight spine during all of your activities. Weight-bearing workout. Any task you perform on your feet while bearing weight involves working your bones and muscles against gravity. Your bones have to work harder when your feet and legs bear the majority of your body weight. After young adulthood, weight-bearing exercise can help strengthen bone and stop additional bone loss. Exercises that involve weight-bearing include brisk walking, hiking, jogging, running, dancing, and jumping rope. Brisk walking and hiking, jogging slash running, dancing, jumping rope, hopscotch, tennis, badminton, ping pong, and pickleball. Team sports, such as basketball, soccer, and volleyball. Stair climbing. Jumping rope and other higher impact exercises, like jogging, put more weight on the bones and strengthen them more. But those who are weak, or who have previously been identified as having thinning bones should speak with their doctors about the best kinds of physical activity for them. Exercises for gaining strength. Resistance is given to movement during strength training exercises to make muscles work harder and, over time, develop stronger. Although resistance training emphasizes building muscular mass, it also stresses bones and has the potential to strengthen them. Exercises that employ your own body weight such push-ups, free weights, and weight machines are common forms of strength training. Exercises can also be made more challenging by using elastic bands. Each major muscle group should be worked out at least twice a week as a general rule for strength training. Make sure you take a full day off after each strength training session. By using free weights, you may build muscle and fortify your bones. Other exercise methods Yoga and Tai Chi are examples of non-impact workouts that are beneficial for improving flexibility and balance, but less helpful in building bone density. Workouts that do not involve lifting any weights, including swimming, cycling, and chair exercises, are great for building muscle and improving heart and lung health, but do not increase bone density. 
These are suitable substitutes if a musculoskeletal health issue, such as arthritis, prohibits you from engaging in weight-bearing activities. Starting a bone health and fitness program, weight-bearing exercise for 30 minutes, four or more days a week, is a necessary component of a successful exercise regimen for bone health. Pick a fun activity to do to help you stay motivated. There are numerous activities that will get you moving and on your feet. You can complete your 30 minutes of exercise in one long session or in several shorter ones. A terrific approach to get started is with a 10 minute brisk stroll three times per day. Walking around your home, climbing stairs indoors, and even standing still while you walk are all excellent weight bearing exercises if it is unsafe to walk outside. Exercise is great for you, but you also need to train your flexibility and balance. Stretching should follow every workout. Your ability to move more freely is improved by increasing your flexibility, which can also lower your risk of injury and promote mental calm. It's crucial to take your risk of falling into account before selecting an activity. You can arrange your workout regimen with the assistance of your doctor and a physical therapist. To prevent excessive spine compression, people with severe osteoporosis should exercise caution when lifting weights with their arms while standing up straight, 10 to 20 pounds may be safe. Exercises that bend or twist the spine should also be avoided. For people with severe osteoporosis, stationary cycles and rowing machines are not the greatest options and contact sports should be avoided. Exercises on a chair and a corner wall may be a safer option.